Liuzhou, the largest industrial city in China's southern Guangxi province, is surrounded by scenic mountains and rivers, making it a popular tourist destination. The 2019 Liuzhou Bank Ironman 70.3 marks the third consecutive year the event has been hosted here. The finish line is at the foot of the iconic Panlong Mountain along the banks of the beautiful Liu River. Starting from Riverside Park, athletes enter the Liu River for the 1.9 kilometer swim downstream. Exiting the water at Yaobu Old Town, they set out north along the river, making two laps en route to completing the 90 km bike course. After dismounting back at Yaobu Old Town, they proceed to the two lap run course, totaling 21 km. It's race day, and the weather is not cooperating. Rain has begun to fall just before the start of the race and is getting heavier. The elements will pose an additional challenge to these elite triathletes who have come from every corner of the globe. Under such weather conditions, it is absolutely necessary for all the competitors to expend every bit of extra effort in order to achieve their desired outcomes. Seven thirty a.m. As the gun sounds, the men's professional group sets out. Each man strives to get out in front and around the first buoy in the Leo River. The men's race is astoundingly tight. With so little disparity among the group in the water, the lead pack is unable to pull away. Australian Sam Benton is in the lead early in the swim. He's no stranger to competing in China, finishing first at the 2017 Ironman 70.3 Xiamen and placing third last year here in Liuzhou. His sights are once again set on being crowned champion. 7.35 a.m. The women professionals set off. The start line for the women's group is also incredibly competitive. For any one of them, creating separation from the rest of the pack is going to prove a challenge. After both groups of pros are well into the swim, the age group athletes begin their races starting at 7.45. Age groupers enter the water two by two in rapid succession, triggering their timing chips. The rolling start ensures the safety of the athletes by reducing interference from other competitors. Allowing more space creates opportunities for personal success, as these athletes are hoping for personal bests. Competition among the professional men is increasingly fierce. The lead group consists of six athletes, including Betton, the 2017 champion in Xiamen, as well as world-renowned Craig Alexander, the runner-up in 2018 here in Liuzhou. They're stroke for stroke as they near the swim exit. They all reach the platform at nearly the same time and head up the stairs to transition one. During the run last year here in Liuzhou, 
Craig suffered an inadvertent slip, affecting the outcome of his race on his way to finishing second. Will he overcome another competitive field and stand atop the podium this year? The women's professionals are a bit more spread out than the men's race has been. Wearing number 23 is American Kelsey Withrow, who surfaced first from the swim and has entered transition one. Kelsey was the champion at the 2018 Ironman 70.3 Chu Jing. She has proven she has everything it takes to be an Ironman champion in China. Hoping to capture another title today in Leo Zhou, her hard work and determination will be on full display. Behind American Kelsey Withrow is Poland's Agnieszka Jerzyk, the winner of the 2018 Ironman 70.3 Leo Zhou. To date, no one has been able to defend his or her Ironman title from year to year in Chinese races. Could Jerzyk be the first to accomplish this elusive feat? Third into transition one is Australian Laura Dennis, facing a small gap between her and the front runners. This is Laura's first time competing in China, with many anticipating favorable results. Sam Benton is able to maintain his lead out onto the bike course. As the rain relents slightly, the roadside showcases full bunches of blooming purple and gold flowers. But neither time nor concentration can be spared to admire the scenery, because tight on his tail are several in chase. The gap separating the top spots has still not widened, as each athlete is waiting for the opportune time to make his move. Kelsey Withrow manages to stay ahead of the other professional women. But as the rain begins to fall again, the slippery road surface poses additional difficulties on the bike. On a series of uphill bends, Jerzyk, in second until now, completes her overtake of the lead. Kelsey Withrow, also a former Ironman 70.3 champion here in China, is widely regarded as her biggest obstacle in defending her title. Even though Kelsey has dropped to second, at only the halfway point of the bike, she still has a chance to compete for the title if she can keep Jerzyk within her sights. Open water swimming is often a unique challenge to triathletes accustomed to training in lap pools. However, the route marked out in Leo Zhou can be considered the ideal swim course. The river surface is calm, and despite rain, no significant wind is present to influence the swimmers. The course is also oriented downstream, giving further assistance to athletes. The water temperature is moderate, just below the threshold for wetsuits, creating a comfortable and straightforward swim.
wearing bib number 140, is Chinese age group competitor Li Peng Chung. This is his second time racing at the Ironman 70.3 Liu Zhou. After increased time and effort spent training, he is confident in his strength to compete among the world's elite. His goal today is age group champion. The professional men's race is full of suspense. Several in the lead group have traded time leading the pack. Now that they have entered the second lap, the pace has begun to quicken. This is the true test of physical strength, experience, strategy, and willpower. As one of the most influential triathlon brands in the world, more than 260 Ironman events are held in 44 countries worldwide. Today's race in Leo Zhou has attracted 500 foreign athletes from nearly 50 countries, including the United States, Australia, Germany, and Japan. Moreover, the enthusiasm surrounding the Ironman 70.3 Leo Zhou has also resonated with local athletes, as there are more than 1,000 participants. Although today's heavy rains have continued, the weather has not dampened the spirit and fight of the athletes. As they face the rain and the wind, they continue pushing forward. In addition to the athletes, the volunteers and race staff have been braving the rain. It is their selfless dedication and hard work that ensures everything continues to proceed smoothly despite inclement weather. Iron Man's high standards for professionalism, organization, and execution have been recognized and appreciated by competitors worldwide. Event staff, volunteers, and athletes collectively form the most beautiful scenery here on race day. Coming into transition two, there still hasn't emerged a clear favorite for the professional men. The same six who set off on the bike course together came in led by Sam Betton by the slimmest of margins. With fellow countryman Craig Alexander and Russian Ivan Kalashnikov mere seconds behind, the battle is set to transpire over the next 21 kilometers on foot. As the rain falls heavier, the competition among the front-running men becomes tighter. In front and out onto the run course, Sam looks to be in great shape, but he is certainly aware of the inspired athletes running behind him in the chase. As Craig Alexander speeds up, 
he is able to drop a couple of others and sees his opportunity to overtake Sam. After a second place finish here last year, everyone is well aware of Craig's determination to capture the title here today. Remaining in third is Kalashnikov. Despite Liu Zhou being his first Ironman 70.3 in China, he is certainly vying for a spot on the podium. It will all depend on how his body and mind hold up over the course of the run. As Craig continues on in elegant form, he appears relaxed and focused. As he pushes on, can Sam Benton keep up the pressure on the veteran Alexander? The first professional woman has reached Transition 2. Defending champion from last year, Agnieszka Jerzyk, surpassed Kelsey Withrow midway through the bike and is one step closer to a second straight first place finish here in Leo Zhou. Whether she will successfully defend her spot atop the podium depends on her performance in the final stage. Withrow, the winner of the 2018 Ironman 70.3 Chujing, comes off the bike nearly three minutes off the lead. If she manages to post a strong run, making up the three-minute deficit, she will wrestle her second Ironman 70.3 title in China, away from Jersey. Jerzyk appears to be laboring on the run course, but even so, she can manage a smile as her confidence builds for the remainder of the race. Behind her, Kelsey Withrow has begun to close the gap. As the rain once again begins to subside, she looks to make up as much ground as possible. She can still see her opportunity to get right back into the thick of it. Athletes of all different age groups have become passionately involved in various running competitions. As the marathon craze continues to develop in China, outdoor adventure cycling events and triathlons have also drawn in large numbers of participants. Since Ironman 70.3 returned to China in 2016, a race has been added each year from the initial two in 2016. 2017 saw three 70.3 races and four last year in 2018. Registration numbers have reflected the explosive growth in interest for Ironman events from both local and international athletes. Ironman races are quickly becoming the most well-known and attractive triathlon events in China. Craig Alexander, wearing bib number one, still holds first place. He has even been widening the gap between him and the chase. No one has appeared able to pose a threat to him on the run course. This year in Liu Zhou will perhaps not have a similar regrettable outcome for him. As one of the most experienced Ironman athletes the world has seen, he is steadily moving toward his first Ironman title in China.
Sam Betton is struggling to maintain his position in second, as Kalashnikov and German Paul Schuster are quickly overtaking him. As the 2017 champion in Xiamen, and second runner-up last year in Liu Zhou, it is seeming increasingly likely that Sam will miss out on the podium this time. Alas, Craig Alexander enters the final turn with a relaxed look and a smile on his face. For the first time, the legend will be crowned champion of an Ironman race held in China. But Craig, as we uh, talk to everybody at home, how was it out there? Sideways rain, a little bit of wind. Took me back to being a kid playing in the puddles. Craig, you're a three-time Ironman world champion. You've raced all around the world. What do you think about Leo Zhou today and being champion? I actually like the course here. I think it's, it's pretty interesting, you know. It's pretty hard to find a course these days that's unique. Obviously, you've got the waterfalls and swim, which is pretty crazy swimming past those. And, you know, I really like the all the races in China. The road surface is pretty nice. And, um, you know, the run is... Pretty scenic, finishing around the ancient town here is just, some, again, it's just something a little different, which is nice. Second across the finish line is the Russian Ivan Kalashnikov, followed closely by Germany's Paul Schuster. Ivan Kalashnikov from Russia! Sam Benton of Australia finishes in fourth place. The women pros are also nearing the end of the run course. Agnieszka Jerzyk of Poland has maintained her lead and created a comfortable cushion. She is on her way to becoming the first athlete to succeed in her bid for back-to-back first-place finishes at the same race held in China.
after a strong performance, American Kelsey Withrow holds on to second place. Rounding out the podium for the women is Laura Dennis from Australia, who crosses the finish line in third. The 2019 Biojo Bank Ironman 70.3 saw several standout performances from Chinese age group athletes. Miao Hao, Li Peng Cheng, and Li Song En all placed first in their respective age groups, while Kai Yen Long finished fourth in his age group. Chinese Ironman triathletes increases. The availability of Ironman events in China continues to keep strong. New cities and locations join the ranks of those eager to host future races. The triathlon community's echoes resound. Welcome to Ironman. Welcome to China.